Hello everybody. I have this shovel here and you can see that the handle is getting ready to split. I almost broke it. And I'm just too cheap to put a new handle on it. So I thought I'd share with you just a couple ideas that I have about how to fix it. So one of the most obvious ways is to put a hose clamp on it. Or glue it with one of my two favorite glues. This happens to be a tight bond three or Gorilla Glue. Both of them work really, really well on wood. Or you could use this repair wrap. I wanted something a little more sophisticated than that. And so here are a couple of different solutions. If you're looking for a, a quick, easy fix, find yourself a piece of PVC. That's about the right size, and you can see here, I, you know, not quite as tight a fit as I'd like to have, but that's one approach. So just a PVC sleeve gives you something really quick, and uh, it'll get you through the rest of your day. I'll take this one step further. I'm going to show you that solution. So my plan is to take some PVC. This one happens to be just small enough not to be able to fit over the handle. I've cut two different pieces. I've cut a short collar here. This is about an inch long. And this one is uh, several inches long. Only to account for you know, this taper that we have here. This handle gets pretty narrow right in this area. And then it gets large again down here. So the idea here is, which I like to use a lot, is to take a piece of PVC, heat it up. I normally throw it on my gas grill or throw it in the oven when my wife's not looking. But heat it up, get it pretty soft, and while it's still in a soft state, force it down over the handle to the location that I want it, and then allow it to cool. I would recommend schedule 40 PVC in this particular case. Don't use the black stuff or don't use uh, the thin wall stuff that you find in your bathroom drains. You want the thick schedule 40 heavy thickness here of PVC. I'm going to heat these parts up, slip them on the handle and show you the result. So here I'm heating up my PVC in my gas grill. My only word of caution to you is, is this. Uh, don't overheat this because it starts to discolor. You want to get it heated just enough so that it's soft and pliable uh, and it gives you a little bit of working time before it starts to cool off. But you don't want to overheat it and bake the oils out of it. So I'm going to try this one more time for, this, for a third collar. You have two of them on there now. I'm going to put a third one on. We'll heat this up a little bit. It's not quite soft yet. I have this oven glove. The oven glove. It's really handy for stuff like this. Again, i got to sneak it back into the kitchen when my wife's not looking. So you want to get it soft enough, yet you don't want the oils baking out of it. Uh, There we go. That'll do it. So I'd appreciate a thumbs up if you enjoyed this or if you were entertained by this. Thanks for watching.